Hey guys, welcome to the third episode of the career of Chivas, guys. And the full game is out, guys, yesterday. Thanks to everybody they came to the stream and watched, guys. So thank you so much. But let's get started here, guys. We have injuries. Prisuela and Orbelin got injured. And we were going to be playing El Clasico Nacional from Mexico. The classic of classics. Mexico Apertura. America versus Guadalajara. Look at Cota there. Uh, Salcido being our captain. A very good captain in my opinion. So the game was going to start right here. Classico of Classicos guys. So let's go ahead into the game. Like I said America was going to kick off. So let's go ahead. Right here America with the ball. Uh, we managed to steal the ball again. Then we give it back to them. Get us in a counter attack. We have Cota there ready with the shot. And Cota sending that one to corner kick. But nothing happened on the corner kick guys. Then we managed to steal the ball right here with Michael Perez. Now Cisneros with the ball. Pulido with the ball. Now he sees Calderon that came in for Brizuela for the injury. And look at that goal. Lasso from Calderon who is who actually got us also the victory against Veracruz uh, last week. So pretty pretty good victory from Chivas over there in the last week. So right here, guys, Nestor Calderon scoring in the Clásico Nacional 1-0, guys. Scoring on the Clásico for Mexico. And right here, America, guys, actually get an opportunity, which you guys are going to see right now. But... Guess who? No other than Mr. Cota saving us from getting that equalizer. So right here, guys, another great shot, but America is going to get that one very good. Then we get the ball back, and they managed to get the ball back, and then we got it back. That That's like we got the ball three times there, but nothing really happened. I decided to do some subs, guys. We're going to bring in uh sunday has given some opportunity on our team uh, and right here guys we do a very bad crossing and looks like almeida does not gonna be liking that one it looks like he does not like that kind of crosses but right here guys we do get him in a counter attack we're almost gonna gonna do a very nice pass here now we see him we do a through ball but america defending pretty good and they actually managed to do a very good defending. Then right here we get the ball again. But Munoz is there to get the ball guys. So it's coming to an end. The first game of this episode guys. Uh, we are going to take that victory. Uh, so we will take those three points. And we're going to be on top of the table guys. So here we go. Uh, a lot of you guys asked me to do uh, training players so I did simulate some right here guys and then guys uh, we were gonna be playing Jaguares in the next match guys so in our stadium we were playing against Jaguares de Chiapas and I moved to the 433 guys and you guys will see at the end of this episode why I think of that 433 now uh, Chiapas right here with Liborio Sanchez, former Chivas goalkeeper, doing a, a pretty decent gameplay here, guys. So, right here, guys, Chiapas gets a first opportunity, but we are there to defend the cross and not a problem for or the Chivas defense. Then we see right here a great opportunity for Pulido and who else but Liborio Sanchez saving Chiapas from the a goal so right here guys Chapas gets an opportunity he managed to go forward uh we he does the cross and they managed to score with the brazilian player um of Chapas that they got this season uh as a signing so that first goal i think he's 72 rated if i'm not mistaken del uh delay under delay hopefully i said his name right so terrible with names guys but yeah guadalajara zero chiapas one so we actually needed to do us so we decided to bring in angel sal they were coming to the pitch guys so hopefully we could do something with him and do a uh, do a goal or even get a equalizer. Gula Peña right here with the ball. Angel Saldivar with the ball right here, guys. 
passes to Cisneros. Cisneros with the ball. That's a cut inside. And Saldivar with a shot. Bali Borio. Sanchez. Very good uh, defending there. Stopping that. And then Chapas with the ball. Playing some tiki taka with us right here, guys. Not a very big fan of that. They get a nice pass by Ruiz. Ruiz with the ball right here. And then Ruiz with the ball to Areola. And what a hitter. And that's 2 0, guys. 2 0, we are losing this. How can this be? How in the world are we losing to Chiapas? Villalpando scoring that goal. 2 0, guys. Right here, they do manage to uh, end the game. The ref decides to end the game, and we are gonna take our first last of the tournament. We're gonna simulate some career mode uh, training players, guys. So, are you guys will see? And then, guys, we have our next game against the youngsters of Pachuca. So we were going to be playing in the stadium of Pachuca, Chivas versus uh, Pachuca here, guys. Still running the 4-3-3 uh, in Stadio Municipal, Pachuca versus Guadalajara, guys. So let's get into the game. But first, let's look at the enters. Uh, some players, um, we see Gonzalez there, pretty pretty good player in defense so it's gonna be hard to get uh get in and beat him they do a cross right here Gule Peña defending awesome for us and then right here guys Jara with the ball Carlos Salcido that's a slide tackle and we're gonna be getting that yellow card for that slide tackle of course that referee wants to talk to us apparently he called us out so we'll Talk to Carlos Salcido, so the ref calling him to come closer, and there he is. He's gonna be getting that yellow card for the uh, the foul there, guys. So and then, guys, we were gonna try to start a penalty. We actually do that, and it reflects on the on Cota's body, and it goes in. A very bad thing there from from us. Uh, Kota should have stopped that. He did not stop that shot. Um, and here, here we go, guys. F Franco Jara scoring that goal for them. And then, guys, right here we they get us in a counter attack. Bota with the ball. They clear up the defense, but very good defending there, guys. I thought that he, that ref was gonna be calling another foul. And look at this, guys. Uh, right here they get a corner kick in terrible defending by the Chivas players. They just left Hara right open near post and that's going to be a goal. So right here guys I said I'm doing something wrong. It wasn't 10 minutes. I was already losing 2-0. I said we need to bring Angel Saldivar. He has been proven to me that he is a very good player. And look at this. Right away at the beginning guys. Uh, Saldivar. He runs with the ball all the way from our half. Look at that. Look at Saldivar. And yes, guys, look at what a goal. Angel Saldivar just doing a very good thing. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be training him. He already on 71 on the time that he has been playing as a sub. Uh, so I think we need to give Saldivar an opportunity and give him a start. So we uh, he actually managed to score that goal before the halftime of this game guys so winning a uh, winning two two one Pachuca so Pachuca still winning and then guys second half they get us in a counter attack right here with Hara but Hara does miss the the opportunity so two one Pachuca still beating us guys right here uh, they're actually playing a little tiki taka for us and we do manage to lose that game so let's do one more training players training Saldivar actually and he doesn't have potential to grow, which is kind of weird. Uh, FIFA didn't give him potential. So our final game is going to be against Pumas. So we're playing against Pumas. So in our stadium, hopefully we could walk out with the victory. Because this is two losses already. And right here, Polido right away gets a first opportunity. He shot, hits the post. Picolin saves that one. And I thought that was going to be Pulido's goal there, guys. And then actually them defending pretty good. Gula Pena with another opportunity to Hernandez that goes way up. And not a problem for the Pumas defenders and goalkeeper Picolin Palacios. Then they get this opportunity. Cota saving us from that goal, guys. Then they get another corner kick right here, guys. 
Uh, and Carlos Cisneros tries to get him in a counter attack. Cisneros uh, doesn't have the pace that he deserves, in my opinion. But right here, guys, Cisneros with the ball. We do try to cut inside. Another great pass to Brizuela, and Brizuela managed to miss that one, guys. And guess what's happened, guys? Goes that you don't do our goals that they're gonna make you. And look at this. He just took out my defense. That's a, a nice uh, sweaty goal there from Pumas and we are losing 1-0 guys so I decided you know what he has worked in the past come on Angel Saldivar Osvaldo Alaniz our defense is not doing very good so we bring in Osvaldo Alaniz I thought this should have been a penalty but the ref said no it's not a penalty we just get a corner kick and right here guys we try to do a very nice passing but uh, Pumas defending pretty good guys so the game is coming to an end guys and this is gonna be three lost on this episode guys I have to say 4-3-3 great formation like I said guys but I think I'm gonna go back to my 4-2-3-1 formation uh, I just like it so much guys so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you guys next time adios